Well, good morning guys. Welcome back to the GKP. Got a few jobs to be getting on with. Nothing that's going to be all that interesting for yourselves, but things I need to get done for something which is coming up next weekend. I'm going to spin camera around and let you know what we've got on there. First of all, you'll see that we just have the two fish left in the quarantine pond. I'm saying two because you can only actually see two. The two fancy goldfish and I have one upper magoi in there as well. But it's that dark, you can't see it. But it is in there, I show you. So that's as it should be. The next bit is yesterday got the grass all cut. And the next bit is going to be getting everything ready for this. The pond build. I'm saying pond build. The pond extension. As I am going to be changing things a great deal other than making it bigger. But before I can do so, I have to uh, repair my fence because quickly show you as you can see there that post has snapped this post has snapped this one is already okay and the next one on has snapped and the end one is okay so what I'm going to be doing is as I've done here I'm removing these boards off this fence panel and then again off this one but every one of these screws has snapped so I'm having to pry them off as you can see got the bottom screws to take out but all of them have snapped on the top not that it's an issue but I've got to de-screw all the planks remove all them and then get all this grass cut because that's grown like crazy because of all the pond water that I've been emptying from the system into the back so the grass has grown like mad but that's the, the first task that I've got to do and get this snicket made safer before my fence collapses. So, as you can see, fish are proper, proper lethargic. We're at 16.5 degrees outside and we're at 17.3 degrees inside the pond, which is pretty damn cold, man. I mean, yes, I know this is coming to the back end of summer. The last week of the six week holidays. Beautiful blue skies. I can look there, we can just see. Sail the dog. And the moon's still up. It's 7.15am, we're going to give them a little bit of food, everybody seems better than what they was, i still got one or two that are still acting a little bit iffy, from the mass cage drop and the big ammonia spike that I had. We'll see if we can give them a, a little bit of food. Let's see if we can liven them up a little. There's my new Dyke Skyhack over there from Rick, New Forest Toy. And we went over to see him for the working weekend. And there it is. Also my new Momotaro, just there, from uh, Perfect Aquatics, Crafty's Growing Show, or Anthony's Tape Growing Show. Hopefully when it warms up a little bit, 
These guys will become a little bit more active. They were quite active yesterday, feeding quite well yesterday, but I've only been feeding them small amounts, little and often. My Matsukawa Baki is still a little bit, yeah, still acting a bit funny. I think he got some uh, damage to the gills with the ammonia spike in the pond. The butterfly just out here is, um, yeah, it's all, it's all right, but it's still a little bit, still a little bit lethargic. And those two were the worst ones affected other than the uh, Kahaka, which unfortunately I lost. But with the uh, Monotaro in now and the Deutsch Kahaku from New Forest Koi, and everybody else is seeming a little bit better. One thing I have noticed, they are rather spooked. So I think I'm still getting a regular visit from the heron that comes around a lot. One other thing I have noticed is I have not seen my Yamata Nishki for well over a week now. I checked behind the back of the planter, I checked behind the back of this one and no sign of it anywhere. So I've got a sneaky suspicion that just behind the back of this planter there's, there's a gap in the netting where the plant hasn't grown in as much this year as what it did. And I do believe it's uh, fallen prey to the uh, to the heron. And the reason why I say the heron's coming around is just down here last week back end you can just see the remaining this some rather large bird pulp but it was absolutely massive and spread all the way around here and i cleaned it all up because the dog kept going near it and i think the uh the heron had been out here sat on that fence and dropped a, a big massive pile of waste and i'm talking maybe six inch in diameter, a big white patch of bird poo. But yeah, they're not enjoying this at all. So, yeah, what I'm going to be doing is getting on with the fence and then throughout this next week, I'm off all week. And what I'm going to be doing then is getting the netting off, um, getting the pond marked out, I'm hoping to come to about here and get all this dug out. So I'll be all this area, leaving the acer tree as a bit of over coverage. And I think these might be coming out and just coming to make this that, that much bigger. Let's see if I can. So, yeah, it'll be coming from about here to here. So it'll be almost half its length again. Then what I was thinking of doing is where I've got the blue slate, is extending it wider to that blue slate line and then pouring in another line of the blue slate and just returning it back around this edge there. But before I've got all that to do, I've got to get this fence done. And the reason why I've got to get this fence done is all that soil has got to come out of here. And to get it out, I have a car park, which is just near yeah, that neighbour's fence there. And Daz is going to be bringing his trailer in. And what we're going to be doing is bringing the trailer into this far corner, coming out from here, down, <laughs> down that drop, along the path, and into the trailer, and getting that filled up. So obviously, I need to get this mended and sorted so that we can do it but somehow come up with it so that I can make this into perhaps maybe a better access that I can I'm thinking when I've got these posts out if I put a cut in here and then a cut in here but leave the fixings so that they are through one of these then I can actually just remove this section and then screw it back into place when we're finished again and that'll be Next Friday evening or Saturday morning, Daz is going to be bringing me 
one of these temporary poles up which we're going to put in situ over here get the temporary pole in in here we're going to pump all the contents of the pond down into the temporary pool. We're going to get an air system up and running on it. We're going to get the fish dropped in. I'm going to net it off, cover it up. And then we're going to start the dig. Get it all dug out, get the new liner in. Once we've got the new liner in, we're going to fill it back up with the original water plus whatever else it needs. Back into the pond. And then hopefully when we dig all the rest out of this out, I'm going to find a lot more Yorkshire stone. If not, then I'm going to have to pick some up from somewhere and then get it all finished and tidied back into match. So yeah, that's the idea, that's the plan, and that's what we're going to be going on with. The joys. Hopefully it's going to remain decent this week, and I'm going to get some good weather, and also during this, my work vehicle is going to be going in for a new flywheel and a new clutch because it's absolutely buggered so I'm just hoping that I don't need anything else to get it done but we'll see I went and picked up new posts and some post creek yesterday that's all done and sorted just need to get cracked on so I'll get back to you in a bit all right guys so far absolute nightmare I'll show you got all the planks off from the back side obviously as you can see that's all out now all the planks off and all the planks off from the inside um, post one can't no longer get it where it originally was because it's snapped right here and I've stepped it over now second post in third post in fourth and fifth because again can't get that post back in there because it's snapped right down at the at the base there and that's set into the wall or into this breeze block section so I've got me two lengths of timber which I'm going to trim because the posts are in a different position now trim off here and then I can fasten them onto there for my rails and I've got to go get two more of them because these ones now are no longer good enough as you can see all my posts literally the only thing that was holding it on was the neighbour's fence and the neighbour's fence there the rest of it I didn't realise they'd gone I just thought it was these two that had broken because it was bone in the middle so I'm going to go pick up another two pieces of these to do this side but then or it originally had is like a, a bottom board which is those wider ones there which are absolutely wrong to be there for about 30 odd years as long as this house has so it had a like the bottom fence there a bottom board so i'm going to go get a bottom board to go across there all the way across and then i'm going to put my railings on and then i'm going to put my fence back together and that is that all done the choice i literally have a couple of hours before <coughs> timber merchant shuts so I can go pick some up and then I'm gonna have to clean all this mess up and put stuff back to normal so catch back up with you in a bit hi right, guys so we went to pick up some new timber to match its originals guess what yeah no longer do it so we've had to get two befores instead of inch and a half before so now we've had to replace the whole lot so I'll spin this round let you see what we've done with the bottom bit we've got the posts are all in and we've got this board which is going to once I get all my garden leveled off again and sorted out is going to hold back all the soil as it used to be with a small gap underneath so that it can drain away without rotting the bottom of the board away but this being two inches now should last a hell of a lot longer than the last one did then I'm going to trim all this grass back which grows like crazy because now my shed filters out into here so I'm going to level all this off and bring it all nice and neat and deep weed it all and everything the next one is now to get obviously because we can't use these because they no longer do it in that thickness we've now got brand new ones that we can cut to size to go across here and then across the top so that we can have the uh, fence back up and close again 
So I'll get back to you on the next stage. Uh, look this, when you need a joiner to give you an hand, you get a spacker. <laughs> Well guys, that was some graft. It's been a while since I've worked like that. It's been this round. I've got it secure for the evening. I buy secure, I mean, for the dog, so that the dog can't get out. Um, it's been around, let you have a look. So, from the inside, it's all boarded. So we've got new posts, new rails, original fencing. This is not wrong with it. Solid as a rock, so no point replacing any of that. But it's nice and solid now. And from the outside, all done and finished. I'll take you around and I'll see from the back. So there we go. All finished back up again now. I mean, I've had to reuse all these boards because the price of timber and the brass is just too expensive right now for myself, personally. But there's nothing wrong with them. We only, all these boards were only put on like three years ago. And it's guaranteed to last for 15 years. So, yeah, I've got some old holes that have been reused and again. But the main bottom board, brand new. All done and finished. So now my dog can't get out. So we're all good. I've just got to get all this lot shoveled up and cleaned up, which has fallen out when I've been doing it all, but for this evening, you can stay as it is. And we'll pick back up again tomorrow. So I'll catch you in a bit. How's it going guys? Alright, progress report. So the back snake it behind the back of my garden is all boarded off now and all done. All cleaned up and tidied up. Just gotta get round the other side, level off behind here, and we've already panelled it up. I'll show you in a second. So there we go, not too bad. One, two, three, four boards. That I broke removing off that I couldn't make use of and putting back on, but I had some spares left over in the shed. I've turned over all the forest bark and brought it all back round the tree again. And we've infilled all this lot and uh, turned all this over to get all the soil all leveled back up again. Now, the next thing I need to do is just go back over this side and level all that soil off and uh, clean and tidy all that up and once I've got that done sweep all this off of the top where I've thrown it back over because loads fell out when I removed the fence and once I've got all that done the fence is all repaired and reinstated so right I'll get back to you when that bit's finished off well, these guys are doing a bit better again like I said the butterfly just here and the uh, Matsukawa backer just down there still not looking 100% but better than what they was. I give them a bit of food. We got some better temperatures today 19.5 degrees in the pond and 31.5 degrees outside. So this has got them guys feeding a little bit better. I give them a little bit of food. Yeah, I've only got uh, up to 19.5 in the filler shed though. Yeah, actually in the pond, should I say. Oh, there we go. Right, let's have a look at this now. All done and dusted. Lovely, all nice and clean. 
back of the filter shed all done my overflow pipe from the filter I am going to add a piece of pipe on that drill an hole through the fence and put it so it comes out the other side just so it spills off and runs away to waste but that looks a heck of a lot better now all the fence done all clean and all tidy give them a few meal worms while this uh, warm weather's with us There's the uh, Mamataro Kahaku there and my Deutz one from Rick at New Forest Coin now in the pond. Looking good as well, feeding well. Shame I lost my other Kahaku but two very good replacements. Not that you can replace a gift like that but you know what I'm saying. Gonna let them enjoy them and track on. I tell you what though, excuse me, looking through these little garden bits. That was some hard graft. It's been a bit on the on the warm side to be doing that today. But main thing is that's phase one of this works complete. This week's works complete. The next one will be the pond build and hopefully that will be starting Friday this week and we're racing to Monday so that gives me a couple of days to get a few jobs done in the house and then we're on to the big job fish out temporary pole big dig dump soil new liner in pump pond back into main pond fish back in connect everything back up that's the plan that's what we're aiming for Usual thing guys, if you're enjoying this kind of content, do us a huge favour. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend. Till next time, catch you on the next one guys. Keep smiling, we'll see you all soon.